Hey guys, we're at uh, Adam Berlin's house and I want to go over the scope of work with you. We're going to be doing, uh, the majority of this is going to be a nail over and then a uh, moisture barrier, breathe easy, and then we're going up with um, uh, lap siding on everywhere that, that has siding now and a hardy plank trim. We want um, one by fours on the corners and one by twos around the windows and doors and uh, we're going to be doing a garage wrap down here all the bottoms of these garage door frames are going to be cut out made our repairs and then um, overlaid with hardy 516 hardy now Trey is going to be doing some stucco work around this. I'll touch on this a little bit and then I'll get back to it. But we're gonna be Trey's gonna be doing some stucco work around um, this this front walls on these front walls and then uh, a section in the back. He's gonna be doing some skimming some and some uh, reworking of the banding here. So um, we need to get our soffit done first and that's why we're going first for, for two reasons. Our soffit needs to go on first so we can um, dye it against the, the existing stucco so he can stucco up against. So everywhere on the soffit that has um, stucco beneath it, there, there's no need for a freeze board because he's going to float the, tech, float the um, stucco right up to our soffit that we install. We've got the kind of installation on a, on a um, soffit where we uh, keep the existing soffit, cut out the holes for the ventilation, it's all hardy vented soffit where there is vented soffit now and um, non-vented where there's non-vented of course in the gables so same uh, same process like we've always done with the nailing the soffit to the edge of the fascia putting nailers in nailing into the into the soffit the existing soffit and cutting the big holes out for ventilation so we want to make the holes more substantial than they are now to utilize the best um, the best amount of airflow possible through the James Hardy vented soffit um, up here at the roof he's getting a new roof it's going to be a standing seam metal roof by Southwest Metal Roofing and uh, we're going to be replacing the drip board right there uh, with Hardy and then doing a 5 16 fascia overlay all over the uh, the existing fascia after we install our soffit on the house. Um, there's areas like this that uh, Mr. Berlin had concerns about as far as how we're going to make our repairs. So that we cut back to the rafters, um, straighten it up, and then and then do our fascia overlay. So let's make our necessary repairs on the fascia, whether it be rot, rotten, or um, have little spots like that in the joints to make our fascia overlay on. Um, round vents, round gable vents in the front. And Kenny, I haven't got the measurements on those, so we'll need to get those. The round vents. So, scope of work, hardy softened fascia, hardy lap siding, nail over, breathe easy vapor barrier. Um, over here, you, you can see that most of the siding is in good shape. It's like a lumber, uh, large T111. But what we want to do is, you've got some bulged areas, things like this, and uh, around the bottoms. Not all the bottoms need to cut out, but the majority of them need to be cut out because they're wavy, or they have wicked water, or they're deteriorating. So. Um, a lot of the bottoms are going to need to be cut out. There's also a spot back there on the chimney I'll need to show you that uh, needs to be uh, needs to be cut out and removed and then replaced with uh, 716th OSB. Um, the the meter boxes back here. Uh, let me let me go here first. The gutters, all the gutters on the house are going to be tore off. All the downspouts on the house are going to be tore off. Let's put them in a dumpster. Uh, and we do want a dumpster for this project because um, because of the you know, the size of the project for the for the the cutoffs. 
Um, these these boxes, um, you know, like like always, we remove the boxes, put the hardy on the uh, on the wall, and then um, reinstall the boxes onto the the hardy plank. Um, not trim around or anything like that. Cable wires. We've got cable wires here, and uh, we want to hide those in the wall. We've already gone over between me and Adam that uh, there's there could be a possibility of you know the cable wire failing once it's behind the wall. In that case, you'd have to have a cable between him and the um, cable company ran on the outside of the wall um, if there's a failure. But we're going to try to hide them with no failures. Okay, this is uh, a portion of this little landing and the deck. This portion right here that you see in the video on the right side of the house toward the backyard, we're going to tear that out and put it in the dumpster just so we can get it out of the way for our siding. It's going to be going here. Um, here again, this is a nail over on this siding. So the portion we're stopping right here where it lands on the deck, this is the part that we're going to be tearing off. There's all these stairs right here and that landing. We can trash all this lumber. We've got um, lights. Uh, we need to talk to him and see um, at, during the project if he m doesn't mind us to keep the lights off until we um, paint the project. He may want the lights on um, as soon as we reinstall as soon as we install the hardy plank to reinstall the lights. Um, so let's talk to uh, Mr. Berlin about that. This water table is what they call it. Ledge. That's going away uh, all around the, the back here is where that is and, and on the right hand side. So that water table is going away. Uh, we're going to bring the siding down. So this plane is the same as this plane. And we're going to bring that siding down to cover up any area that, that may have chipped from the stucco. So this is one thing that will happen have to happen first is that we, we uh, cut out any bottoms here that we need to cut out, take this out, um, scoring here by the stucco so that it doesn't crack, and then um, or limits the amount of cracking, I guess I should say, and then we we find where we need to um, run our siding, bring our siding down on our first lap. Chimney. This has a lot of a rot work, and this.